Hi guys, let's talk about Apple. Apple just launched the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 models just last night and I didn't sleep just because of it. And today we are at Sushi Beach, southern part of Tokyo and it's just a one and a half hour drive. Okay, so last night they first unveiled the new Apple Watch which is a slimmer version of the previous Apple Watch and they changed the materials a bit with some diamond-like coating. They first announced the AirPods 4 with and without active noise cancellation. You can choose. And there's so much updates on the AirPods Pro. And the Pro Max, they just changed the colors. Okay? And they also updated the watch and also the phone. The phone, I think the main main thing about the iPhone 16 is the two cameras side by side. Just the, the way they create the camera behind and they also this, they have this uh, camera button, a uh, dedicated button so that you can control the camera for the phone using just that one button. And for the Pro models, you still have the titanium coatings. And I think the main, the main thing in terms of design would be that the camera bump and of course the colors. The colors are much more vibrant this time with some purple, bright purple, teal color and pink. That's about it. And it's all on Apple intelligence. They are pushing it like um, Apple intelligence in all the iPhone 16 models. And that's about it. So for me, uh, as an iPhone 13 Pro user, I can't show you my phone because I'm videoing this video on my phone itself. I don't find that I would want to upgrade yet. Maybe I would want to upgrade next year, I'm not so sure. But uh, judging by the design, there's not much difference. And if I want to upgrade, it's because uh, I bought a 120. Yeah, and also the battery. I would say not much would, not much different. I don't know. My, that's my opinion. My opinion is not many people will upgrade, of course. Um, yeah, and those people who have the iPhone models, maybe four or five years, maybe from the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, they might choose to upgrade since there's a lot that has changed since then. But if you have the iPhone 13 and above, um, yeah, I just feel that there's not much of a significant upgrade. Okay, so that's all guys. Okay, a bit of post script regarding the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models. Um, why I want to talk about it is because in terms of the business side of things for Apple, the sell sales of the iPhone 16 or the iPhones basically are the ones that are the major drivers in terms of the revenue for the company. So it's very important that the iPhone 16 to become a major hit because otherwise when people upgrade less in terms of uh, for the business for Apple, you have lesser, lesser people buying the phones which in turn, it affects the revenue stream, right? It affects their profits, uh, Apple's profits. So that's why I think it's very important for the iPhones to be a major hit. Otherwise, um, if like people like me that don't want to upgrade to the next iPhone uh, gets more and more, then you have a very uh, lower profits, right? Because lesser and lesser people wants to upgrade the iPhone and for those people who have uh, Samsung phones or other you know I mean what are the uh, incentives to jump on to the iPhone bandwagon so that's why Apple has to create this hype surrounding their phones otherwise uh, they will only get lesser and lesser people to upgrade or to get the latest very important in terms of the revenue and it might 